Hello guys, making magic here, and I'm back with a gun mechan like game series. Uh, today we're creating a basic shooting system for both of our players, and yeah, let's just get into the game. So uh, this is basically the final product uh, for this day. This is how it's gonna look like. You can move both the players and you can shoot. But okay, those bullets are a bit slow, but you can change the speed if you want. And yes, these are this is the final product today. The gun of course is symbolic and yeah, it doesn't mean anything. You can add your own guns if you want to. But yeah, okay, let me just delete what I made and what we'll be doing today okay so the scene is clear now and let's start off of from the beginning okay uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create two empty objects for our cubes where our guns will be stored so we're gonna go to player one I guess we're gonna start off here and game object create empty we're gonna drag it up to player one and we're gonna reset its position so zero on, zero on all the axes zero 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 and we're gonna create another game object for our player two we're gonna drag this one on player two and reset its position back again okay that's not right uh, okay now that the position is reset we're gonna create of the shooting points so we're gonna duplicate uh, this game of uh, basically now we're gonna create a uh, few cubes to represent the guns so 3d object cube and we're gonna drag it onto our player one game object we're gonna reset the position zero 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 we're gonna drag it a bit in front of our player so it doesn't collide with it and we're gonna make it a bit look like a more like look like a gun, but okay, it looks more of a can, something else. Uh, okay, that's cool. That's okay. And we're gonna tick off the box collider. Now we're gonna duplicate it. First, we're gonna rename it. And we're gonna duplicate it. And then we're gonna duplicate. It. Uh, we're gonna move the other uh, point on the other side of our player. Yeah, we'll basically we'll be just switching uh, between these two points when we'll move. So uh, yeah, this is for our player one. Now we're gonna duplicate both of our points. Duplicate, and we're gonna drag it onto our player two. And I'm just gonna drag it all on the other side to our player two. Okay. We got this covered. Now we're gonna add some material to it to make it look a bit nicer. Okay, what we ah uh, here's the material. It looks okay. Uh, now uh, the next thing we're gonna do is uh, of course create some shooting mechanics. But first, we're gonna need to uh, switch between those two guns when we move. So uh, this, uh, with, we're gonna cover this with our switching script that I created in Model Develop. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna open up Switch One so I can explain it to you. I'm not gonna explain the Switch Two because it's basically the same, just that it uses uh, other buttons. So variable point one and point two are our shooting points or our guns that are of course game objects so in function update that means that it will call the code every single frame and uh, if you press the button A on our keyboard it will uh, set active uh, our point 1 and it will de deactivate our point 2 uh, it will do exactly the same thing but it will reverse on uh, if we press the D button so when we move it will deactivate point 
one and it will activate point two. So now we can close it, close this one and we're gonna add it to our game object. So switch one. Uh, let me just see. Point one. If press A, is it active? So this is our point one basically because we need to set it active if we move to the left. Okay, for our red player this should work now. And it works, okay. Now we have to create the same thing, uh, but first let me just de deactivate this one. Uh, but we now we have to create the same thing for our player, for our green player. Which we will do with the switch 2. If you have uh, J, I, and K, and L for moving the green player, this code will do just fine for you. But if you don't, you can change the input keys over here. You can just tape another letter you would like to switch the guns with. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna just drag, but okay, those two shooting points should be under the game object. I'm just gonna drag our switch to and gonna take a second look at it. J.1 true. Okay, so uh, basically J.1 true. This point one, I guess, and okay, like this. It should work. Also, this should work also, and yeah, it works. Let me just deactivate this right, the gun on the right, then the right side. Now we're gonna add our shooting script, which is basically the main part of this tutorial. So uh, let me open up the gun shoot script numero uno. And uh, yes, we so variable bullet is uh, basically the thing we'll be shooting out of our gun. So. Uh, and yeah, it's very important to copy the transform because it's really transforming the position and it's actually better. So variable spawn is the shooting point, is the op is basically the point from where we'll shoot our bullet. Uh, variable power is the is the this constant, this uh, float, a number that will be multiply multiplying the force by. And in the function update, if you press the button R, it will call the shoot function, which is over here, and we're defining the variable pel, which is basically I don't know, like pellet, I don't know, and it's basically instantiate means it spawns uh, the bullet on the position of the spawn, and uh, it keeps the spawn's rotation. Also, it uh, checks if it has the rigid body on it, and then it adds force that is multiplied by the number of power, which is over here. And so we're gonna close this one down and our this gun shoot one is for our player one. We're gonna go and add it to both of our shooting points gun shoot. And we're gonna add shoot point on here is spawn is shoot point one or this one and on shoot point one the shoot point one is the spawn. Uh, bullet we don't have it yet but now we're gonna go to our player two, select both of the shooting points and add gun shoot one. For gun shoot one, I only changed uh, the uh, the key we'll be shooting the bullets with, and that's the key P because it's the same. It's basically the closest key to J, K, L, and I. So uh, yeah, now we have to assign. The spawn points, okay, spawn shoot point two, shoot point three, spawn. Okay, that's great. Let me just change the force to a bit higher number because uh, I'm gonna go with basically thousand is a very low number over here. I don't know why, not quite in standard, but okay. Now uh, the next thing we're gonna do is go to assets, and if you don't have any bullets, you can create a bullet. I already have two over here, but I'm gonna create one for you again. So game object, 3D object, sphere. We're gonna 
scale the sphere down add a bit of material to it and add a rigid body we're gonna thick off use gravity I'm gonna leave that as it basically gonna change that to 5 uh, and so if it's changed the higher the mass the lower the speed will be of the bullet so I guess this bullet is just right of the size and the next thing we're gonna do is go to assets and I'm gonna go to my gun mic assets and create sorry for that and create a prefab that's gonna be called boom bullet 3 and I'm gonna drag the sphere under the bullet 3 I'm gonna delete the sphere from the scene and we're gonna assign it to all the points over here oh that's bad okay and yeah here we go but the main thing we have to do here is our rotations of the because it's shooting from the right we have to change the rotation of uh, this this shooting point it has to be set to 180 so if it doesn't work for you work for you if you find out that it shoots directly into your player uh, the only thing you have to do you have to change the rotation to 180 if it's set to zero you have to so you know what I mean and shoot point one we have to also change to 180 so it doesn't shoot our player if you have any problems of course uh, comment uh, in the comment section of course uh, write me a note or email me on of course my email that is listed in the description so now if you play the scene it should work perfectly something hasn't been assigned of course oh my god I oh sorry for that sorry for that I messed it up a bit I'm gonna we should have assigned it to bullet sorry for that what am I doing seriously shoot point one here shoot no shoot point here and here you should assign the bullet Oops. I messed it up a bit, but now it should work. Sorry for your time. As you can see, we have to change the rotation to 180 so it doesn't shoot directly towards me. Now it should work. So if you have any problems with shooting uh, the gun shooting towards your player just change rotation and of course okay let me just test the numero as you can see the rotation didn't work properly so you have to change the rotation to 180 and now it should work sorry for the time seriously and it works like a charm. Thank you for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something new and you can create your own Gun Mayhem like game. Uh, if you have any problems, close comment down below or uh, note me in an in, in email. And yeah, thank you for watching again and bye.